as long as I can be a surgeon. There are so many questions, but I, have... I was in the high school, young, hoping and dreaming to be a doctor. I was in a med school, hoping and dreaming to become a surgeon. I was a surgical resident, and this is my first surgical procedure. I was attending classes, going to courses, and then I got to be the teacher, teaching others how to operate. The question is, will I take the same road again? And the answer is yes. Why? Because I have always wanted to be a surgeon. What for? Because I love being a surgeon. For how long? As long as I can be a surgeon. There are so many questions, but I have for you only one answer. I am a surgeon. Why surgery is such a great career? Training is fun. You will never forget your training. It's a very safe job. The pay is not bad. Your mother will be proud of you. I'm, I, I, I'm very sure that my mother is very proud of me. Surgeons have panache. Surgical personality. And it's also a culture of surgery. You will have your heroes, your teachers, but you, from time to time, you will be the hero. If you like to be the hero, this is the job to do it. There is spirituality if you want it, because every day you get in touch with people, their mind, their pain, their desire to stay alive. There is spirituality if you want it. You will change patients' lives. Remember, change, do not terminate patients' lives. Change. And patients will change your life. Or simply, you're a sadistic SOB and you just love to cut. But this was a joke. How it is actually to be a surgeon? You will work hard. You will endure tough people until you will become one. This is like that song from Guns N' Roses. Endless nights, endless days and sleepless nights. I remember you. I don't have the voice. You will have endless days. You will have sleepless nights. One day you will be on the top of the world and the other day you will lose a patient and you will be swimming in the ocean of sorrow. You're not God. Remember, you're just the instrument of God. Because sometimes your, your ego is saying, oh, you're so strong. You're holding someone's liver in your hand. You must be God. You're not God. You will sacrifice a lot. But remember the, the talk about the Aconcagua. Don't sacrifice too much. Every mistake you do could mean the loss of a human life. And you will be, and you have to be mad about yourself because you're not good enough. Every day you'll do something else and you'll never be bored in your life. This is, it can be a profession, it can be a mission. If you want to be a mission, you must have the calling. The calling for it, the calling, the calling to teach, to heal, to preach, to implement law, to be an actor. You need the, the calling. If you have the calling, you will fill it with every fiber in your body. But be very honest, brutally honest with yourself. If you don't feel it, you don't have it, or you're not in touch with your inner self. And if you don't feel it, meditate upon it. And listen to your soul. 
listen what your soul tells you to do. Follow it and most important, don't let anyone or anything to stop you or to tell you something else.